We now continue with our fourth contest, ladies and gentlemen. Five three-minute rounds of boxing in the middleweight division at 73 kilos. Introducing and making his entrance to the ring, representing German Eagle Slava Kerba. Well, Glenn, here's another German uh, boxer that's uh, making his debut on the WSB here for the uh, German Eagles. 26 years of age, five years the senior to Freddie Evans, who will be up against, but to Slava, as they call him, Slava Kerber. Again, looks a big, strong lad. He does look a big, strong lad. You know, made a mistake. He realizes, perhaps, no doubt, that Freddie Evans got all the experience, silver medalist in, in this year's Olympics at London. You know, he's going to want to drag Freddie Evans into a fight. He's not going to have a boxer match with this guy. He knows he's not going to win that. He's going to have to drag Freddie Evans into a brawl, into a, into a proper scrap, into a war. That's, I believe, his only chance of winning this fight tonight. And now introducing one of our stars from the London Olympics of 2012. Please welcome, representing British Lionhearts, Fred Evans. Well, wherever Fred goes, he has a, a following. There's no question there. He's enjoying being in the spotlight of the WSB. He had to work hard for his win in uh, Celtic Manic, and he beat a very tricky French pro, Michel Tavares, 2-1. Yeah. But boy, oh boy, did he work hard for He it. certainly had to work hard, and I think that was a bit of a, a little wake-up call for him. To, you know, when he boxed an experienced pro, a bit of a wake-up call for him. He's got to use his ability tonight, his boxing ability, not going to get mixed up, caught to a fight. He can outbox this guy, he doesn't have to stand and trade with him. And that's what the coaches will be looking for from uh, Evans, from the uh, St. Joseph. Amateur Boxing Club in Cardiff, Wales. Ladies and gentlemen, this is five three-minute rounds of boxing in the middleweight division at 73 kilos. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the blue colour shorts trim with white. Tonight he makes his proud WSB debut representing German Eagle Slava Kama. And opposing him, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the regular shorts trimmed with white. His WSB record is one contest, one win. Ladies and gentlemen, at the 2012 London Olympic Games, he struck a magnificent silver medal. Representing the British Lionhearts, hailing from Newport, Wales, Fred Evans. Well, let's not also Reverend forget Charles that Freddie Evans, the a European champion it's gold medalist, European championship gold, gold medalist as well. And he'll need all of that experience uh, with uh, this bout, his second bout in the WSB. Okay, right. Watch your head. No holding, no low blows. Good luck. Well, there's a lot of boxing fans that have travelled from Wales to see Evans in action here. And uh, I'm very keen, Glenn, to see how he's come on yes. from that debut. In a lot of pressure, because that was his first fight, his it first fight was. since the Olympics. But uh, let's see if he's learned from that experience and can bring that to his second bout. That's right, today. but again, I mean, we're going to say it's true. We've got two south balls facing us. Sometimes it doesn't always make for a, gr a great mix for a fight. Sometimes they can become entwined with one another. And sometimes it can become a little bit ugly, but uh, you would think with uh, Freddie Evans' experience that wouldn't happen tonight. Well, he faced a southpaw in his first uh, bout for the WSB and the British Lionhearts in uh, Celtic Manor. And he took a little bit of time to get into that bout, but uh, I'm sure that was a semi-professional first fight nerves. But Evans looks very confident and settled He does here. look confident. Kerber, though, he looks very, very strong. Looks, a bit, looks the bigger man. Just catching Freddie Evans as he walked in, but a good body shot in, in, in reply. That's better work. Don't stand and wait. Get your shots off, Freddy. Stop. Time. Uh, just a little issue with the uh, glove here and the taping. Box. Halfway through the first round. Both boxers sizing each other up here. As our expert and former world WBC champion, 
In the super middleweight division, Glenn Cantley has pointed out that the German does look the bigger, stronger, and with the longer reach of the two. In the blue shorts, of course, the German Eagles. In the red shorts, the British Lionhearts. Doesn't look phased, Kerber. Doesn't look overawed by the experience and, and the background of Freddie Evans. And bearing in mind, this is his first WSB contest. Seems focused, seems positive at this stage, but we have still a long way to go. Getting caught, Freddie, there. And that's what's going to happen. If he stands about, doesn't get his shots off, he's going to get picked. And again, we're seeing it again. Standing and waiting far too long. Better work, better work. Good, good reply, good counter. Good strong counter punching here from Freddie Evans and he needs it because the German boxer in blue. Seeing it again, getting caught a little bit too often for my liking with that backhand from the German. Better work, better work. There we see it again. Twenty-five seconds in this first round. Very evenly matched. It's a surprise to many this, but uh, Slava Kerber for the German Eagles has settled well and has put in some good work against the Welsh Olympic silver medalist. He certainly has, and I was going to say again, he looks very, very strong. And finishing strong, finishing the round strong as well. Well, unfortunately, I have to say for me, Kerber nicked the round. I do agree with you there. Some good counter punches, Glenn, from uh, Freddie, but he took one or two very strong blows. He certainly did, and because he's taking these shots, Nick, because he's standing, he's waiting, he's thinking far too long about what he has to do. Let it flow, become a bit more natural. Don't wait too long, because if you wait, you're going to get caught. Well, Freddie Evans takes a unanimous 10 9 there. Good news. Counter punching, keeping Freddie Evans ahead. Well, some intense uh, moments in the red corner for the British Lionhearts. Freddie Evans getting a lot of instruction from the Lionheart coaches. Of course, the coaching director of the British Lionhearts, Rob McCracken, did so well. But I think of everybody in that, the audience tonight, Freddie Evans is possibly the most surprised of all at the quality of the German opponent tonight. Again, we're seeing that dangerous backhand. Good shot, good shot. Best shot of, of the fight so far from Freddie Evans. Great counter shot from the Welshman. That's better. Don't stand there and wrestle. Get your shots off. He seems to be cut over the head on, on, the, on the skull. Kerber, I'm not quite sure how that, that happened. But nevertheless, there's blood certainly dripping from the, from the head of, uh, of, of the German Kerber. Well spotted, Glenn. Quite bizarre how the German has been cut so far around yeah, the side of yeah. the head. Clint. There's that backhand from Kerber again. He's been threatened with that all night long, having a fair amount of success with it. I'm, I'm not sure the Kerber has uh, noticed that he's cut yet. It's dribbling just down by the side of the right ear. Good one two combination there from Fred Evans. Bit more of a positive start, bit more of a focus start going into this round from uh, Freddie Evans. With only a minute to go. Under a minute now in round two. Good counter from Freddie again there, just cutting the German as he was coming in. 
Counter punch working well for Evans, scoring well with it. It is, but again, he's waiting far too long. Standing there in front of Kerber. When he stands there, he's going to get picked off. Good finish the second round needed for Evans. More work needed from Evans in the closing stages of it this second round. Is, yeah. The German just finishing a little bit stronger. But pretty good run up to then, up to that point from Freddie Evans. For me, it was an even round then. Could possibly go the German's way. So, another tight bounce. The slow-mo replays at Glenn clearly show that uh, both boxers have got a very good counter punch. More work needed from Freddie Evans, a little bit more quicker, a bit more sprightly. It is. I think he's just paying Kerber a little bit too much respect. Well, it's a split decision, the score there, and uh, Kerber just takes it. So now, one round each. Freddie needs to make this round count. First to the British boxer in red, the second round has gone to the German in the blue shorts. This is a lot more closer than perhaps we'd thought before the start of this match and before the start of this match. Again, Kerber just marching forward, getting his shots off. He's a strong fellow, this Kerber. Good shots coming back from Kerber again. He's put in a couple of really good left hands here, the German. And his pass two combinations. And he's getting the timing spot on with just about all of them at the moment. It is. And again, it's simply because Evans is just, he's just waiting far too long. If he stands there, doesn't do nothing, he's going to get caught, he's going to get picked off. He's got to watch the low blow a little there. Good body shot from Evans there. Time. Gum shot coming out from Evans there. As you can see on your screen, the clock is stopped. No time lost. Gum shield replaced and still 133 in round three here. Nice counter. Well, you can hear from behind our commentary position the uh, Freddie Evans fan club, like us, need to see more work because with that. Uh, just over a minute left, once again. The German has had the better and the more punches score. Just seems to be growing in confidence, Kerber, from me, Nick, at this moment in time. And uh, good combinations from the German. He too now peppering the jab and starting to trouble That's Fred Evans. That's, That's better from the Welshman. When he gets the shots off, he has a great deal of success. He's just a bit reluctant to do it. It's a little bit sporadic. And they're too infrequent. Kerber puts another good combination. Right on target against that Fred Evans. No question, this is his stiffest task in the WSPR. Yeah, 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 screw shot there. Great little uppercut screw shot. German did, Kerber didn't even see it coming. And all the judges would like to see, Glenn, is just a few more of those. 
Under 10 seconds left in this third round now. It's a good finish from Fred Evans. One or two spectacular shots from the Welshman, but he's had to take his fair share as well, Glenn. He certainly has. Now, for me, Nick, I've got it, that, was, that was also an even, came out strong in the end. Prior to that, it was all Kerber, so I've got it dead even going into the fourth round. Well, I think the slow-mo replays from that third round confirm that. Good exchanges from both boxers. Freddie Evans just takes it on a split decision. Very closely matched. Sure Work is. rate needs to be equally as high going into this fourth. And uh, he's not home yet, Evans, by far. No, 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 we're far, far from home yet. Needs to up the tempo, needs to up the work rate. He's got to really dig deep now. He's going to have to show what character. He's going to really have to show, it, show, show, show what he's got left in the tank now. Glenn, as you said right at the beginning of this contest, this German lad looks strong, looks physically strong as well. And now, of course, we go That's into unfamiliar territory for yes. Fred Evans into four and five rounds. He's got to take it to the German, not quite connecting with that uppercut this time round. Good, good, good in there. Good shot, good nice work. better work, oh, that's better stuff. work. Great work from Fred Evans, just when he needed to raise his game. And again, see when he gets the shots off, he's having far greater success. When he stands and waits and ponders, that's when he gets picked off. What a fight this is turning into, Nick. And we can see now Freddie Evans pushing Kerber back. We haven't really seen him do much of that prior, prior, in prior rounds. And that's when he's been most successful, he's moving forward. Absolutely right. When he stands off, thinks about it, that's when he gets picked off. And now he becomes the aggressor, he has a far greater success. No, no, come on, Evans, keep it going, keep that momentum going. He's had some beautiful shots and combinations here. Let him go. Good shot, good shot. This is far better work from Freddie. This is what he should have done two or three rounds ago. Better, better work. Peppering him with that right, and then hard with the left there. Great straight one-two combination. And again, much better round from Fred Evans. With a minute left on the clock, and this the fourth. He knows he needs to win it. And if he can keep this momentum Good. going now, this, is, this style of boxing, this round's his for the take. Now, this is encouraging stuff. This is a real true test of his character now, Nick. He's having to dig deep. He's now taking the play away from Kerber. He's now becoming the governor. And this is such an important bout in the context of the match against the British Lionhearts. It's a team competition. Holy Remember? Holy. Yes. And Evans needs to put another win in the bag for the Lionhearts here. Oh, lovely stuff again for yeah, Freddie Evans. Now he shows his class. It certainly does. This is a, turning into a great fight, showing his great, showing his determination going into this ring. Or finishing this ring, rather. And Freddie Evans has clearly slowed down Kerber here. He's taken a lot of damage, the German, in this fourth round. Counting down the seconds. Freddie Evans is round without question for me, Nick. And a very important round to take for Fred Evans at a very important part of this match. Here's some of the replays of the game, Glenn. At one point, it looked to me that the German was getting on top of things in the third, but once again, Freddie Evans slows, shows his class yes. and his determination, That's gutsy right. in the fourth round. And it showed that when it comes, when it, when needed, he can actually dig deep and, and find that inner inner strength, that inner, that inner grit that is needed. And there's the uppercut again, great success with that shot. You know, master, unanimous decision for Fred Evans against Kerber of the German Eagles. Now let's hope that Fred Evans can come out and do exactly the same in the fifth. 
Maybe it took him three runs to fathom the best tactical play it, to get the better it, of Kerber here, but for sure now he knows what's needed. He certainly does, and uh, this isn't going to be a boxing match. This is going to be an out and out right war now. This is going to be who wants it the most, and in my money, it's going to be on Fred Evans all day. He's the one that finished the stronger of the two, he's the one that looks the fresher of the two. As you quite rightly say, Glenn, Kerber knows that he needs to come out here all guns blazing. And it looks like the Germans prepared to take a little bit of a risk or two as well it to try and land a big does. one. It certainly does. He's come out. He's firing on all cylinders. He's leaving nothing, nothing to chance. He's leaving. Freddie Evans could just uh, hold his time here now. That's it. Pick his shots. He's got the advantage, remember. That uppercut has been a great shot. Again, why is he waiting? He's just standing there waiting far too long. Get the shots off. Push his man back and get the shots off. That's when he's had his greatest success so far tonight. Just under two minutes left to bring this Good. third bout. Fourth bout, I should say, to a close. Great heavyweight Joe Joyce to wrap up proceedings here tonight at Earl's Court. This has been a tough, tough bout for Freddie Evans. And he's going to learn so much from this fight, Nick. He really is. You can spar a thousand rounds, but there's no substitute for getting in and actually competing in a contest like this. This is where characters are really built. Again, Kerber looking to finish with one minute just left on the clock. As strong as he possibly can. Good That's shot. the way to do it. That's what's brought in the success. Good kind of punch from the it German, was, no question it was, there. It was a good reply back from Kerber then. <laughs> 25 seconds left on the clock. And again, a nice one-two combination. Just seems to have gone into a shell a little bit again, Freddie, for me. Not getting the shots off. Good counter, good counter. Some of the sweat spreading from, from Kerber's head. And again, that shot over the top, right through the crease of Kerber. Twice in succession for Freddie Evans. There's the bell. Well, I've got Freddie Evans taking that one. It's a crucial bout for the Lionheart up against the German Eagles tonight here at Earl's Court. But uh, I don't think anybody expected it to be quite as tough a bout as it was. No, no. It, he, like I say, he's going to learn an awful lot from that contest. Doesn't want to have too many of them because they, uh, you've only got a shelf life, as we know. But uh, that was a war at times. I don't think, uh, no matter what the outcome, uh, Kerber should be too despondent with the results here. He's uh, put on a, it's his debut, it's his first WSB Absolutely fight, right. and he's put on a good show, the German here. That's right, and he's certainly one to look out for. He's an exciting, he's a big, strong, capable fighter. And he gave Freddie Evans everything to handle tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, after five extremely hard four rounds of WSB action, here are the judges' score totals. Judge 1 scores the contest 48-47, Judge 2 50-45, and Judge 3 49-46 for you, winner by way of unanimous decision, representing British Lionheart, Fred Evans! 3-0 for Freddie Evans. One or two close moments, but uh, once again, Freddie Evans remains undefeated in the WSB. A little more impressive here. He had to dig a little deeper for this one, Glenn, but uh, showed real tenacity tonight, Freddie he Evans. He really did. He showed real true character. And this is the, this is boxing. You know, you're not always going to have it your own way. 
And he proved tonight that when the going gets tough, he can dig deep and actually put out the bag. Fred, for the first couple of rounds, it was looking a little disturbing for you, but in the end, some beautiful action from yourself involving great right crosses and left hooks. Swinging to and fro all the time, probably came down to the last round. What did you make of it? Um, yeah, he was a, a top a strong kid. Um, it was a last minute change of opponent. Um, I was preparation for someone else, but he was a strong kid. And um, I did swing a bit in there, but that's just a couple of mistakes I got to learn on in the gym. So. No problem. Fred Emmons, ladies and gentlemen, giving a great win for British Lionhearts. Well, great words from uh, Evans there. Line, Basically, <laughs> agree with what you said, Glenn. Word team match, yeah, man of few words, but straight to the point. And, uh, you know, he realises perhaps not his best performance tonight, but in fairness to him, he did have a change of opponent. He was, he was preparing for another guy. But, uh, like I said, the, the most encouraging thing from tonight is that he can dig deep and he can fight when he needs, when he, you know, when he, when he has to. Well done, Freddie Evans. You are allowed to boo because he did play for Chelsea. Big boxing fan, Michael. Well, okay, what did you think of that last fight? Freddie Evans said it himself in his interview. He's going to go back to the gym after this and uh, take all of these experience back to Sheffield with Rob McCracken and improve even more. So good to see Evans still unbeaten in the World Series of Boxing. And perhaps Freddie didn't know, Glenn, but uh, uh, well, the British well, Lionhearts needed that one in the bag to take a little bit of the pressure off uh, Joe Joyce, who goes last of all in the heavyweight That's division. That's right. It was imperative he won that fight, and, you know, he did just that. But uh, as you say, now kind of relieves the pressure a little bit from Joe Joyce, you know, and uh, we, needed, we needed the win. And we also need to win this last one to take a maximum point score here. Now, Joe Joyce, who looked uh, so impressive, the Londoner, of course, from Earlsfield in his opening WSB fight against uh, Mugdugno of Italy goes up against uh, 